Hello guys and welcome back to the channel KOS Keep On Shooting. Great to have you back. So for today, I got a new frame to show you guys by Simple Shot. Which one is it? Stick around. You're watching KOS Keep On Shooting. Okay guys, let's get right into it. I already pre-opened the bag and I had to take a look at it. I can never resist sling mail. <laughs> so I just put it back in there for video purposes. Here we go. The frame I'll be showing you guys is a Torque X by Simple Shot. Would you look at that beauty? Looks awesome. Very tactical looking as well. Awesome frame. Okay, let's see the contents of this bag. So here in the bag, we have a little pamphlet from Simple, oh, and a sticker, I guess. Wait, two stickers. Awesome, Your X. Pretty good stuff. And here we have this little pamphlet or booklet different oh would you look at that stickers just keep popping out of nowhere and here's the different type of models of slingshots that simple shot carries this will be the original torque a great design by mark selgin and then this is a torque x also a great design by him Awesome stuff. Would you look at that. Simple Shot makes beautiful slingshots. And pretty good latex as well. Okay, let's see what's in the bag. Inside the bag. We have a manual. Slingshots are dangerous weapons, so you do want to make sure you read this. And then we of course have the slingshot itself. Very nice slingshot. Oh, and it holds pretty good on a brace and pinch grip. That feels phenomenal. have a torque x by simple shot always wear your eye protection pretty good we'll put this guy aside for now let's continue looking at the content of the bag you have a flat band band set recommended for 716s or 11 millimeter steel ammo taper of 18 to 22 270 millimeters so they come a little bit long and of course that's done intentionally for you to customize them to your own size or your own active lens you get two band sets wow pretty good deal and again they're cut a little bit long so I'll be cutting those to my own shooting preference or my own active lens. I always keep the bags that Simple Shot sends the band sets in. They offer great protection to your band sets. So you can reuse this as many times as you want to. So pretty good stuff by Simple Shot. Thank you, Simple Shot. Inside the bag, we also have another sticker here. So we have plenty of stickers. It's very generous from Simple Shot. I do like the stickers. I keep them everywhere. Tackle box, my box over here, my organizer, that's full of stickers on the top. 
So awesome. Four stickers there. And then here, we also have our band tie material. All right, let me give you guys some specs on the slingshot. My first initial thoughts, wow. Holds very well, very cool looking. I like the kind of tactical look to it. Pretty awesome. A little thicker than what I was expecting here in the middle. But to me, it doesn't feel bad. I mean, it holds well. But yes, it is, as you guys can see here, a little thicker than what I was expecting it to be. Now, all the specs can be found on the website at simpleshot.com. I'll put the link down below. But I'll give you guys a quick rundown. As you guys can see, OTT dedicated shooter with the wrap and tuck band tying method. We have an overall length of 130 mil, an outer fork width of 90 mil. We have a fork gap of 46 mil. We have frame thickness of 21 mil and 22 mil fork tips. All right guys, so I'm gonna be cutting the bands to my active band length, and then let's go outside and give it a go. Stick around. I'm noticing that they are tied TTF rather than OTT, but I'll keep it like that. Let's shoot everything the way it comes. All right guys, I'm all set up. I got my portable catch box at 10 meters with the 40 mil spinner. Let's take a few shots with the Torque X. Let's see how we do. For the 0.7, I'll be using 10 mil lead. It is a, a heavy pull than what I'm used to. Let's see how we do. All right, here we go. Sorry, making sure it's absolutely dead center. Here we go. First shot, I nicked the bottom of it. Shot number two. Dead center. Shot number three. Dead center. Shot number four.
make the right of it. Shot number five. This is a bad cast. Let me get another one. Shot number five. Sorry, I normally don't shoot lead, so I'm making sure it's absolute, absolutely dead center on my pouch. Here we go, shot number five. There we go. Awesome. All right, guys, I moved a little further back probably around 12 meters or so. Let's keep on shooting with the lead ammo. See if we can still get the 40 mil spinner there. This is the first time I try TTF bands and an OTT frame and it works pretty well. I'm not having any issues with it. It does have a twist. As you can see, it is tied on the TTF orientation and it does have a twist. But when I pull back, I can still see a straight line. So it doesn't seem to affect my accuracy. Let's keep on shooting. There we go. It is a windy afternoon here, as you can see. Slightly to the right, just slightly though. This 10 mil ammo, it's very old ammo. I've used it a lot of times. So as you can see, there are some imperfections. So I think that's uh, causing my shots to go a little to the right on some shots. Let's try this one. On the money. Let's take another shot. Ah, a little low. Let's take two more shots. On the money. And the last shot. 12 meters. Sorry. Making sure it's dead center. center awesome frame i love it just for fun i hang the can there let's take a few shots at it let's make it dance the distance is still 12 meters here we go boom 
Nice. Sled ammo hits hard. I think that shot is inside the can. Let's take another shot. <laughs> A lot of fun. Let's take another shot. This one. There are some imperfections there. Hopefully it doesn't swerve to the right. We'll see. If it can stop moving. Yeah, yeah. That was a little to the right. Let's see if I have another shot. Here's my last shot in my pocket. Not very perfect either. Let's see. Here we go, last shot. Nice, I love it. Awesome frame, my simple shot. Okay guys, so let's go check out the can. Let's see what type of damage we did with the 0.7 simple shot. Pretty good latex. All right, let me walk you guys over there. And there we have it. Pretty good damage. Good penetration on there. Now I have used this type of latex before, the 0.7, and I usually get full penetration on both sides. Shooting cans or fruits with a 10 mil lead. But being the fact that it's hanging from a string, it absorbed most of the energy there. All right guys, so that concludes today's video. Just wanted to show you my first shots with this frame. And you guys saw me shoot it, the way it comes right out of the package. You guys take care. Thank you so much for all the support. Really do appreciate it guys. And as always, Keep on shooting. Oof, great power there.